This segment will show you how to use the watch window to monitor the effects your changes are having on key cells within your spreadsheet. In this example, we have a spreadsheet that has been built over two sheets, one sheet containing the inputs and another sheet containing some calculations and the results. And on this sheet, we have two cells which are very important to us, being this cell, the IRR cell, and this cell here, which is a net present value cell. We'd like to see what happens to these cells when changes are made to the input cells. But it's always a bit tedious to jump between the sheets. So what you can use is the watch window. Click on the sheet where the important cells are. And you'll see they're here. And if we highlight both of them by using the control key, and we go to tools, formula auditing, you'll see here it says show watch window and this table will come up and you'll see you've got the ability to add the watch and delete a watch. If I click add a watch what it does is it looks at the cells I've highlighted and says do you want to look at those two and in this case we'll say that's fine we say add. What it does is it puts in the basic information around those cells. So for example it tells you the workbook, it tells you the sheet, it'll tell you a name and I'll explain that later, the cells the value involved and what's in the formula. Now when we go back to the input sheet you'll see the watch window stays there. So now I can come here and say what happens if I change this to 80,000 and before I push enter just look at what happens to these values here. When I push enter you'll see the numbers change to reflect the change and let's change the interest rate to 10 percent and again you'll see the value shown without me having to go look at it. If you want to add more cells to the watch window, it's simply a case of clicking on the cell you want, go add watch and it'll pop up and you can say add and it'll be included. Alternatively if you're tired of looking at one of the results, you can click on it and click delete watch and it'll be removed. If you want a name to appear here that describes the cell you're looking at, it's simply a case of naming the cells. So for example, if I click here, which is the resultant repayment, I go up here and I give it a name, and we'll call it repayment. When I push enter, you'll see the name appears here. You can make it a bit bigger, so that at least you can see what you're looking at. So for example, if we go to example 2, you can see B33. I know that I want to be NPV. Go here, put the name NPV, and I push enter. It appears here, and it makes it a lot easier to understand what values we are looking at.